Huh. Here you are. Go inside or outside. Hello, friends. I took brand new CZ 457 Bar Mint. So today we will put some accessories, test six different types of ammo and try to hit target at 300 meters. Let's go! Rifle itself is in basic configuration. Wooden stock, no Picatinny base, no sights. But it has adjustable trigger from the box and threaded barrel. In order to reach 300 meters, I have prepared following accessories. First, Vortex Venom. 525 scope first focal plane scope rings with the bubble level from Wheeler area 419 Picatinny base with 30 more cans and last but not least Harris bipod which I just took from my ticker everything is new except the Harris so let's unbox Haba removing magazine Gun is clear. So we can start modifications. Let's put it back. Optics. Such a box. Quite standard for optics. They all look quite the same. So inside the box we have we have the scope. Ooh. Scope with some rubber covers. Oh, looks good. We have the scope. What else do we have in the package? Uh, we have the blend. And uh, oh yeah, nice. They include the, this lever so what you faster can change the magnification. And some. Oh yeah, it as well includes this uh, zero stop stuff. What else? Uh, cleaning cloth as always and some instructions. Nothing more. No mounts. So you should buy them yourself. But the price for this optic, I think it's quite good. Next. Mounting base. Small package. We can already see what it has, the base itself, and Higgs key, so what you can tie the screws. This is how it looks like, it has the bubble level on the back, so looks like I will have a lot of bubbles on my rifle, you can call me bubble man. <laughs> we will use this. Let's put it back. What's here? It just piece of cardboard so what you know what what it is mounting scope rings plastic package we do have two uh, keys for all the screws and this is how they look like so one is simple one but another one has attached bubble level so while you are transporting your rifle, you can put it like that so it doesn't stick outside. But when you are shooting, hoppa, keep the level and make nice shots. Eh, bipod is just a Harris bipod with the swivel. Everyone knows how to use them. They attach to the how it's called. It's a sling swivel, right? Then you tighten the screw and it's done. Alright, that was a quick unboxing, I guess. Now, with the help of gun magic spell, let's assemble it all together. All parts together! Oops. This is not what I wanted. Ah! I'm back, same as. CZ 457, just take a look on this. As 
because this is a brand new rifle, barrel needs some time to break in. So we will use the Magtech ammunition because it's the cheapest one. We will measure the speed using chronograph and try to zero at 50 meters. Let's go! Let's make first five shots to the target without measuring anything, just to check how it works. This is first shots and we have terrible weather actually. Um, everything is super wet, so it now goes. <sighs> Straight to the harsh conditions. Oh my God. <sighs> mm -hmm. I need something to clean the optics because I don't see anything there. Making first shots. Nice! Works! <laughs> Uh huh. Okay. I actually hit the target. So was aiming here, and they landed right here. It's like quite good group actually. <laughs> Only one went to the right, but others are like in the same. It's less than one centimeter. Not bad for first for first shots. So we need go down and to the left. Well, continue zeroing, so first was here, then the second five groups is here, one went higher, three o'clocks, and the final four are touching here and one went higher. So, uh, we think I need to make one click to the left, and it should be fine. Of course, I dropped all the rounds to the water. Guys, if you will not subscribe to this, I don't know. I will count it as offense. <laughs> oh, we have plenty of ammo yet. So now let's measure uh, the speed with Magtech. Attach the chronograph. I'm really hoping that all these our electronics like camera, microphones and all this stuff will not die after this because it will be end of the channel, I guess. <laughs> not a good idea. Fine. Now. Yeah, everything is like destroyed already. Huh? It's alive. Uh, I can put it to your side so you can film the speed as well. <sighs> yeah, so if some of the manufacturers want to try something in the harsh conditions, you can send to us all your stuff. There is not a couple of days with the good weather. Other time it's like this. 
Okay, let's start the shooting. Okay. Yeah, you can. We we heard it. So, conclusion. We can't use it to measure the 22LR. Probably because those are uh, lead bullets and it doesn't find them. But if you know, write in the comments. Because the height from the bore is, I think, quite okay, but it just doesn't want to work. So let's remove it and just switch to making the groups. We have Sailor Pilot, um, Subsonic, Aguila, Subsonic Solid Point, then Aguila Target, Magtech. Uh, Norma TAC and uh, RVS Subsonic HP. Whew. Let's go. This is our target. Uh, Sailor Pilot Subsonic. I would say the group is around two centimeters. So it's kind of not optimal. Next, Aguila Subsonic. I have one flyer, but it is probably because uh, for this weather, because the picture is really bad, but all others are almost one point next Aguila target as well good results so they are here it's uh, like less than centimeter next Magtech good elevation but I made the string so it's like this and I suppose this is as well due to the rain was in the optics and it was a blurry Norm attack as well around two centimeters and has the vertical spread so probably the speed is jumping a bit. Next, RVS Subsonic HP. Uh, quite interesting. So it's, I have one flyer here. This is probably due to as well water. But here we have like three shots in one hole. <laughs> we will show it closer and one is near. So what is the best? It's definitely not the Norma and not Sailor Belot Subsonic. Uh, for I think for the best, the Aguila target probably is the best one. At least what I can see, because it's kind of all in the same place. Aguila Subsonic is as well, kind of similar. We can see for the target it has um, bigger uh, speed so it went a bit higher for RVS I think we will 
check it as well. But uh, let's move to the bigger distance. Let's shoot 100 meters using Agila Subsonic, Agila Target, and uh, RVS, just to see which will be better. Cool. A few moments later. Well, did shooting for 100 meters using three different types of ammo. Agila Subsonic uh, group is here. Quite good group, I would say. Then Agila Target as well. Quite a similar group. And R R RVS Subsonic, they got a bigger group. So from this current test, we can say what at least for 50, 100 meters, Agila Subsonic or Agila Target kind of works great. Yes, from the size, I can say they're around one inch for Agila Target, a bit bigger for Agila Soup, but around one more. For RVS, it's around 2.5 more. Now, let's try to hit this at 300 meters. I don't know, will, be, will I manage to do it? Because I'm kind of first time shooting the 22 LR. Even on 100 meters, you can see how much it went to the right. So I applied here half a mil to the left. And for 300 meters, I will use Agila target because I think they are most precise. That will be a challenge. Target is set. And actually, at this shooting position, we don't have any wind, I would say. But after the 100 meters, there is quite strong from the, it's like from 11 it goes, no, it's not, it's not correct from 11, it's like 4, 4 o'clock wind. Whew, quite strong. It will be a chance. So I'm not promising what I will hit, but I will try. Трубу попавшую. I think it went lower. has changed. Waiting wind to cool down a bit. At least I saw like the sand on the bottom of the target, or it's lower or it's behind the target, I cannot tell, but it's interesting. I am eager to see the results, did I hit, and I... 
have missed all of them. Shit. But I actually saw the sand. But where it was? Okay. Okay, guys. I have missed. But I have seen what there were some sand splashes. But of course, it's super wet. And we actually are the, our battery on the camera is dying, so we don't have time to like reshoot. <sighs> yeah, shame on me. I have missed. I was thinking what I have hit, but it is what it is. Next time I will hit it definitely. So guys, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and hope our camera will not die and record all of this. Goodbye, guys. Filming from the phone. I. Managed to hit the 300, so the elevation was a bit wrong in the village as well. And here is what I got. This is the target. I made 10 shots. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, and 8. The wind is not constant, so we have those wind gusts. Yeah, everything like that because just run at 300 meters here because we're running out of time so yeah it's possible we can see what some of them have quite good elevation and those maybe jerks maybe ama i don't know but now i'm happy yes Woohoo!